In a recent video, we highlighted the early history of the humans of the Star Wars universe and how they came to be a dominant force in the galaxy. In other videos, we've mentioned some of the evils which arose from their dominance, from the PSD Crusades to the Imperial Doctrine of High Human Culture. Such things rarely come without blowback, however. In fact, there were many species that, for these and other reasons, hated humans just as much as many humans hated aliens. In this video, we'll be discussing five such species. Attention, Sergeant on deck! This first entry might be a little bit of a shock, considering the well-known friendship between Han Solo and Chewbacca, but the Wookiees had more than their share of reasons for hating humanity. They weren't quite as specious as some of the others on this list and their speciesism wasn't really constant, but there are multiple periods where it was a notable element of their society, and the history behind such cases is too important to ignore. The Wookiees were isolated from humanity in the wider Republic for most of its existence, but when Kashyyyk was discovered in 4020 BBY, that period of isolation ended. Unfortunately for the Wookiees, it was discovered by Zerka Corporation, a ruthless, monopolizing band of scum that became the official owners of the planet. Ignoring local Wookiee culture entirely, they named the planet first G5623 and then Edeen and began looking into how they could exploit the planet. They brought scientists in to work with the planet's abundant natural resources, but they were more interested in the Wookiees themselves as potential slaves. Zerka made deals with Chanda, the chieftain of the Wookiee village Wukroro, and began trading weapons for slaves, keeping him in power as they exported Wookiee slaves across the galaxy. During the Jedi Civil War, the crew of the Ebonhawk helped set things straight, killing Chanda and leading the Wookiees in an uprising against Zerka personnel, allowing them to retake Kashyyyk. But this wasn't the only time the Wookiees had problems with human slavers, unfortunately. During the time of the Empire, Kashyyyk suffered even worse. Such periods led to widespread hatred of humans among the Wookiees, especially in the years immediately following them. No humans were allowed on Kashyyyk for years after the ousting of Zerka, and some Wookiees even took it a step farther. One such Wookiee was Hanha, a mad hunter who had killed his entire tribe as they slept to prevent Zerka from taking them as slaves. He took it upon himself to take revenge for Kashyyyk, and so he became a bounty hunter, going after human targets at a premium and enslaving humans whenever he could, trying to make them feel the pain of his people. To absolutely nobody's surprise, the Huts are next on our list. Huts were dicks in general, of course. They considered themselves superior to all other life forms, and they didn't hide it either. But they held a special hatred for humans. To some degree, this could be contributed to jealousy. Humans were the dominant species in the galaxy, and the Huts probably would have considered that an affront to begin with. But there was also history between the two species that intensified the Huts' contempt for their rivals. Many human civilizations were founded by sleeper ship crews in the millennia before the Republic, and one of the most distant of these was that of the Tianese. The splintered human states of the Tion Cluster were fairly close to Hut space, though at first the two civilizations were unaware of each other. That was until the time of Zin the Despot, however, a human who united the Tianese into an empire which eventually collided with that of the Huts. Zim, a pilot first and a ruler second, introduced himself to his new neighbors as a nuisance, raiding fleets and attempting to conquer Hut space. War resulted and Zim was ultimately defeated. The Huts took over the Tion Cluster and gloated over their new human subjects, detesting them as weak and deeming their conquest a retribution for their crimes against the Hut Empire. Such contempt frequently turned to violence. A few centuries after the conquest, when the Tianese began to colonize a new swath of space, the Huts destroyed the colony worlds out of pure spite. The Hut Empire dissolved long before the Battle of Yavin, as those of you who saw our video on Hut Space know, but that sense of contempt for humanity stuck with the Huts as a species. Next comes another obvious one, the Tusken Raiders. The Tuscans as a people were generally hostile toward outsiders, but they bore a special hatred for humans from the second they set foot on Tatooine. In an earlier video about the Jawas, we discussed the history of Tatooine's natives, recounting that both the Tuscans and the Jawas were descendants of the Kumumgar, an advanced humanoid species that was enslaved by the Rakata. 
The Tuscans, or the Gorfas as they were more properly known, remembered the history of the Kumumga, viewing them as ignorant beings who did not care for the land and dared to touch the stars. And so, when beings that, to them, looked just like their ancient ancestors colonized Tatooine, the Tuscans were absolutely enraged, detesting them from the very start. It didn't help that these humans were from Zerka Corporation and immediately set to tearing up the desert with sand crawlers in search for mineral wealth. And the Tuscans waged war on their outpost at Anchorhead until the crew of the Ebon Hawk calmed them down. Even when Zerka left, the Tuscans continued to hate humans and their attacks on human settlements on Tatooine never truly ceased. The name Tuscan Raider, as a matter of fact, is a reference to this. Fort Tuscan was a military outpost set up by one wave of colonists, which the Tuscan raiders attacked and razed about a hundred years before the Battle of Yavin. What happened to their planet, this devastation, the Tuscans saw as punishment for the ignorance of their Kumumgar ancestors. At number two, we have the Yuzan Vong. Now, listing the Vong might be breaking the rules a little bit as they were xenophobic in general, but no human-hating species did as much damage to humanity as the Vong did, so they've earned the spot. The Yuzan Vong believed all other sentient life forms to be an abomination, as they didn't worship their pantheon of bloodthirsty gods and few of them shared their worship of pain. They took to conquering all the species they could find, slaughtering them or reshaping them into unrecognizable war beasts. Eventually, their bloody conquests left the entire galaxy lifeless, and so they set out to find another. 25 years after the Battle of Yavin, the Yuzan Vong invaded the galaxy we all know and love, waging war on the New Republic, the Imperial Remnant, the Huts, and anyone else they could find. They developed a particular hatred for humans over the course of their conquests, both due to their predominance and due to their reliance on machines, which the Yuzan Vong despised. Their war in the galaxy lasted for four years and killed 365 trillion sentient beings, many of them human, before the efforts of Luke Skywalker brought their conquests to an end. Now, here's a species you might not have even heard of. The Yevitha were an agile warrior species from Nazoth, a planet which wasn't all that far west of Coruscant. But while they might have lived on a core world, don't let that fool you, they weren't discovered by the rest of the galaxy until fairly late in galactic civilization's history, as their world lay on the borders of the unknown regions, in the heart of the Kornacht Cluster. The Kornacht Cluster was a bright clump of stars that made it difficult for Yevathen astronomers to properly assess the galaxy, leading to the erroneous assumption that they were the only sentient species in existence. They were proven wrong when the Empire discovered Nazoth during the Dark Times, and the Yevatha were swiftly conquered by by their newly discovered human neighbors. With the revelation that there were other species present in the galaxy, their culture became rabidly xenophobic, and when the Empire collapsed, the Yevatha barred outsiders from Nazoth. Those few Yevatha who traveled into the galaxy at large displayed an open contempt for other species, especially humans, who reminded them of the Imperial Conquest. With the defeat of the Empire and the emergence of the New Republic, the Yevatha sought to become independent and take over the whole Kornacht sector, a plot that was ultimately foiled. They were disarmed, but they soon began rebuilding their military, preparing for a war with the New Republic that never came. Instead, the Yuzan Vong did. The Vong annihilated their fleets and destroyed their colony worlds, but when the New Republic offered them help, their hatred of humans ran so deep that they refused. Willingly, the Yevatha endured genocide at the hands of the Vong, likely destroying the entire species, all because they didn't like humans. So, those were the stories of five species that, to varying degrees, hated humans. But what do you think? In particular, what do you think these guys would think of our friends over at Generation Tech? Let us know in the comment section below. And as per usual guys, just before you go, make sure you check out all those juicy links in the description below, including our Patreon, our Discords, and our Geetsley's Gaming Network. Anyways, as always, thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next video.